Forget everything you know about old school online searching. Spending hours going through endless blogs and sketchy websites is over. With AI powered tools, you can get twice the information in half the time. But here is the catch. AI models like ChatGPT or Claude don't show you where their answers come from. That's where Perplexity rewrites the rulebook. Perplexity is built for people who want real answers with real sources. You control exactly what kind of sources you pull from. And instead of digging for credible info, Perplexity does the searching, the reading, and delivers you a clean, concise summary with up-to-date source citations. This means no more hallucinations, and you will know if AI is actually lying to you or not, which is so helpful. You can actually prove that it's answered are correct. You really think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? With research speed and source transparency, Perplexity is already replacing the way professionals, creators, and researchers dig up facts. In this video, I'm breaking down all the top Perplexity features and showing you how you can get the best out of the platform. Let's get started. So, what is perplexity exactly? Are you feeling a little perplexed about what perplexity is? Well, let me explain it to you. So it's an answer engine. What makes it different from a typical search engine like Google is that perplexity gives you summarized answers from multiple sources, while Google gives you a list of links that you have to dig through. Perplexity does the hard work for you. Now, where can you access this wealth of knowledge? Well, you can use Perplexity on your browser, on the desktop app, or on your phone. There's a free plan for all of my savers out there, and a pro plan and max plan for those of you who really wanna take their search to the next level. The free plan is honestly pretty nice because you get unlimited quick searches and five pro searches per day. Plus, you get a limited number of file uploads. If I were to show you all of my AI subscriptions, I would be beyond embarrassed because it is not okay how many I have. This is why we have to take advantage of those free tools because those dollars add up. Searching on Perplexity is super straightforward. You just type your question into the search bar and click enter. You're gonna see suggested questions, and then once you choose one, you will be given a condensed summary with images, multiple sources, and citations that you can click on. There are also suggested follow-up questions. This can be super helpful finding the next steps to figuring out your answers. In my opinion, this feature is what makes Perplexity a truly unique tool. You can choose exactly what kind of sources it's getting its information from. So to do that, just click the plus sign and then toggle the focus modes on or off. To start, there is web mode. This is where you can search across the entire internet. Next is academic mode where you can search through academic papers. And then there's finance mode, which is like a cheat code for digging into official company reports. As an example, you could find out how much NVIDIA made this year. Next is social mode to search for social discussions and opinions such as Reddit threads. And lastly, there is incognito mode. If you toggle this on, your chat activity will not be saved or remembered. There's also writing mode for creating content. If you wanna use this, just make sure that all of the modes are toggled off. There is the deep research mode, which is a powerful pro-only feature that goes beyond a regular search and generates full comprehensive reports. Lastly is the labs mode. This is for projects and creating visual dashboards or coding apps. If you're looking for more information on your potential customer base, you could use the social feature to find customer discussions on Reddit, maybe about common pain points around shopping online, for example. You could also use the academic tool to find consumer behavior studies. There is such a wealth of knowledge here to dive into. I was really curious why it's called Perplexity and I wanted to know the story behind the name. So here's the story. Apparently it comes from an inside joke within the AI community. It's actually based on the AI metric Perplexity. It measures how well a language model predicts text and basically how confused it is by what is coming next in the conversation. A lower perplexity score means the model is less surprised and doing a better job. It would be kind of funny if humans had perplexity scores. You know, perplexity kind of has the qualities of a good mentor. It remembers what you previously asked so that you can follow up and ask more questions and truly get a deep understanding of the topic. Plus, it's more like a conversation than a search, which is really nice when you want to know the answer to something. As an example of conversational follow-ups, let's say that you just asked for the best Shopify apps for email marketing. You could then ask, how does app A compare to app B when it comes to integrating with Shopify and customer support? This is such a different experience than typical search engines because you get to build on the context rather than starting your question all over again until you have like five questions in one and it barely fits in the search bar. I have been there way too many times. 
Now, let me introduce you to Perplexity's pro features. First up, we have Pro Search, the gold that us free plan users have to use sparingly. Think of it like switching from a calculator to a supercomputer. Instead of just giving you quick answers, it uses the smartest AI models from partners like OpenAI, Google, and Anthropic to look at more places on the internet and explain things in a deeper, clearer way. If your question is tricky, it can even break it into smaller steps, kind of like building Legos piece by piece until the whole thing makes sense to you. This is how I honestly like to learn. I like to fill in the puzzle, so to speak. If you're on the free plan like me, you get five of these, so use them wisely, young Padawans. But if you become a pro user, you get 300 plus opportunities a day to use pro search. That is a lot of knowledge at your fingertips. Probably too much knowledge. Here's a little tip for my pro users. You get to choose your player. You can actually decide which AI model you want to use, including GPT-5, Claude 4.0 Sonnet, or Gemini. Or you can just let Perplexity choose for you. Listen up. If you are researching a new product line or creating a brand, first off, I'm impressed because most people never take that leap. But second off, Use Perplexity's pro search tool to get all those nitty gritty details that you need to launch. You can get a look into the market demand, run a competitor analysis, get a sneak peek into the current packaging trends, and find the perfect suppliers without having to click on a million website links and scroll through only to find they don't actually have what you're looking for. I don't want that for you. Speaking of Shopify, if you're a new brand or an up and coming business owner, I have a little gift for you in the description below. Go check it out. Perplexity doesn't just work with information inside of the app, you can also upload any document and give it context about your question. It's kind of like ChatGPT and Google had a baby. You can upload a document by clicking the plus sign or by dragging and dropping it into the search bar. You have the option to upload a PDF, a CSV file, text documents, or even images. And if you have the pro plan, you can also upload audio files and videos. Perplexity can read the content of any uploaded documents, give you a summary, take out the key insights, or even compare the content with other information that it finds online. This is incredibly useful for academics or business owners. Again, my free users, you have a limit of three file uploads per day. But it's actually pretty cool that we can access these features on a free version. They aren't completely blocked off. If you become a pro user, you won't have such a small limit and you can actually integrate with cloud storage like Google Drive and Dropbox. Let's say you run an online Shopify store. You can upload a CSV of your recent sales into Perplexity. And instead of spending hours in spreadsheets, it will show you the trends, your best selling products, and even your average order value. Or maybe you have a contract from a supplier that you're a little bit concerned about. Perplexity can pull the key terms and even compare them with what's normal in e-commerce supplier contracts, such as standard payment terms and timelines and all that jazz. Who doesn't love a messy computer with a million files and open tabs that have no real purpose? Well, that digital chaos that we all feel is exactly why Perplexity created Spaces. Spaces are where you can organize your search threads and conversations by topic, project, or category. Here's how to create a space in Perplexity. Go to the sidebar, click Spaces, and then hit Create New Space. You can name it, add custom AI instructions, then choose if it will be public or private. If you do have the pro plan, you can pick which models you want it to use. Once you have it set up, you can upload files or choose sources to pull from. You can also share this space with somebody else by clicking on the little plus icon on the top left side. Here's why spaces are so valuable. Any question that you ask inside the space will automatically use the instructions and sources you gave it, making it perfect for organizing your research or working on a project with other people. You can go even further and add specific instructions to your space. You could say format answers as bullet points, or you could give it a role like you are my natural health coach. Perplexity also has a memory feature that works in tandem with spaces. It can remember details and preferences that you mention over time. If you were trying to mark at your Shopify store, you could create a Shopify SEO strategy space. Then add custom instructions, for example, generate blog post ideas for a Shopify store selling handmade jewelry, focusing on keyword rich content and customer engagement. Then all research and content generated within this space would have to fit within the guidelines you gave it. 
making your content creation process a lot smoother because you gotta get that money. And who knows, maybe you'll even be on the pro perplexity side soon. If you learn something cool that you are just itching to share, I get you. That is exactly how I feel after I have learned something new or did anything cool for that matter. I want people to know. So here's how to share perplexity answers with others. Your first option is to copy a direct link to the conversation and send it. So to do that, just click the share icon on the top right and then text or email the link. Next, you could also export your answers into a PDF download or a Microsoft Word document that includes all the info and citations. On the flip side, if you don't want people to discover the top secret information that you just learned, you can set your shared links to private so you make sure that no unauthorized person is poking their nose in your research. Perplexity has literally gone to space with its new feature, Comet. It is an AI-powered browser, so you might be asking, how is it different from the pro search tool that has the AI model integrations? Well, let me break down the difference for you. Pro search lives inside of the Perplexity platform. It uses advanced models to summarize answers from a wide set of sources and obviously has citations. Comet is a standalone agentic assistant that summarizes pages, keeps context, and can act on the web, meaning it can click, type, and book things for you, which is crazy. For any e-commerce business owners out there, here are some things that Comment can do for you. It can hunt for deals and try promo codes during checkout, eliminating the copy-paste grind, which can take way more time than you ever think it will. You can use Comment to analyze website analytics or inventory data, as long as it's on any open page. You can extract insights or generate spreadsheet formulas based on that data. Comment can also automate site actions. So for example, it could be refresh, wait, and click. Comment can be prompted to refresh a page and click a specific button when it becomes active. So for a Shopify seller, this could be used to monitor product stock availability on a supplier's site or to automate publishing a new product on your Shopify store. Lastly, it can quickly find PDF forms such as tax documents, shipping label templates, or return policies on websites without you having to find them. Now that you're well acquainted with perplexity, here are some ways it can make your life a lot easier and your research a lot more effective. You can run fact checks around any information that you have within seconds. You can do in-depth research on any topic. This is perfect for students, researchers, and professionals because of course it's going to cite its sources and get the specific information you need. You can learn new skills through step-by-step -step guides for things like recipes or languages. You can get real-time updates for fast-moving topics like stock market trends or breaking news. Perplexity can also help with content creation by generating outlines or giving you new ideas for articles and projects. You can automate a weekly industry trend report, competitor analysis, and SWOT framework for your business. I know this sounds complex, but these tools can be super helpful. You can create research-backed content for your business blog, social media posts, and email or website copy. And if you're looking to find your next product to sell, you could get unbiased AI-generated product recommendations with verifiable sources. This would help you make the best decision for your company based on what people are really buying. Perplexity has a lot of skills, but if you are planning to do highly creative tasks like brainstorming, creative writing, or generating unique ideas, other tools such as ChatGPT or Google Gemini are likely a better fit. There you go. Perplexity is a smarter, faster, and way more reliable way to find real-time cited answers. Go out there and search up those questions I know that you are already asking. I'm Charisma with Learn Shopify, and thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you want to stay up to date on our videos on all things business. I will see you on the next one. Bye.